I had plans to install my battery today, but that's not gonna happen. There's a snowstorm going on and uh, I don't want to open up my battery and uh, uh, take the risk to have a lot of moisture and snow inside of the connectors there. Luckily for me, I have a wonderful friend who borrowed his battery to me and it still has to be connected to my house for a couple of days and that was no problem at all. Now it's much better. That was a long waiting, but now the weather is a little better. Maybe it will be a little rain, but whatever, that will be just fine. So I will just prepare everything. And then we are going to take this battery out. And look, my new inverter, a Multiplus 5000. So looking forward to try that one out. So here it is, and uh, it will be Great to have the other battery here, so I know that it is well protected from the weather and stuff. So first, I will just turn off my inverter here. Switch off. So now I can safely disconnect my battery from my inverter. And as you can see here, this is not ordinary solar MC4 connectors. This is just, I think the name is Sulax or something like that. And those are rated to 40 amps. So the inverter can only pull 30 amps. So this will be just fine for this setup. So the battery are now connected to my house and I am just going to turn on the power. So as you can see here, I have two fuses here. One for the main negative and one for the main positive. So let's switch those up like so. And the, here is of course the heater that I have built into it. I am going to turn on that in a few minutes. So I will just go down in the basement again and turn on the inverter and as you can see we actually have a fault message here because I don't have the temp sensor hooked up to it anymore. So I will just go out again and connect the temp sensor to it. 
So I will just hook it up here so we don't have any fault alarms. So the inverter will start up. Now it's back to normal again. Great. So now I am just going to switch on the device again. Yes. And now it's going to pre-charge everything again. So now I am just going to install the temp sensor to the battery and also try this heater out. It will be interesting to see if it works, hopefully it does, but I will install the temp sensor and see if the temperature is rising up. Hopefully it does. Now it's in place. And then I will just turn on the heater to the battery. So here is that cable. Here is the thermostat to the battery. And as you can see, we have six degrees inside of the battery right now. And the thermostat is set to start heating the battery at six degrees and the turn off at eight degrees. Maybe I have to raise that up, but I start like this and see if the temperature seems to rise and hopefully it does that. I am of course going to take care of all of these cables and put them in a pipe and I'm not sure where I am going to place this battery yet, but uh, Maybe up here or down here or on that side, probably. And here I am having a pipe in the ground already. So if I use this place here, I don't have to do any digging. So I think I go with this place here or on that side. It doesn't matter, but somewhere around here. It is now a few days later and I have already put all the cables down in that pipe between my house and between this well here. So what's left to do is just to do some digging between this well and a few meters over here. So let's do that when there is still some daylight here.
All right, guys, the battery is finally in place here and I have a good distance between my house and my battery. So if something catastrophic will happen, I probably can be safe. At least it will give me some time there. But you never know, those batteries can be really dangerous when they uh, tend to fire, if they fire. It's not so often, but if they do, <laughs> that will not be good at all. So, I stopped filming there because it was so dark, so the video was not so good anyway. Hope you understand that. But now I am going to get my little computer that will take care of my selling and the buying of my energy. So hopefully I have that installed already tomorrow. It's Friday today, so I am free from work tomorrow and also on Sunday, of course. So I will put a lot of hours into that little computer and see if I can have it up and running maybe tomorrow or at least on Sunday. I will, of course, post more videos about that later on. So don't forget to subscribe down below there and give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. Have a great day, guys. Take care and goodbye.